Once the appropriate sized cartridge is selected for the specific multi-piece Acrosoft IOL to be implanted, the surgeon should fill the cartridge with an Alcon-qualified viscoelastic, such as Viscoat, prior to loading the Acrosoft multi-piece IOL. Before removing the Acrosoft multi-piece lens from the case, a drop of irrigating solution or viscoelastic may be placed on the lens without touching the lens surface. Also, a drop of viscoelastic may be placed on the flat surface of the lens case itself to help make it easier to secure the lens prior to insertion into the cartridge. Using the Alcon loading forceps or another forceps with round, non-serrated blades, the multi-piece Acrosoft IOL should be grasped by the optic edge and placed anterior side up into the cartridge, with the leading haptic in the same orientation as the etching found on the anterior surface of the cartridge. Using the forceps, the lens optic should be gently pushed to the floor of the cartridge. The trailing haptic should then be gently placed outside and to the left of the positioning post to allow the plunger from the handpiece to engage the optic edge during lens advancement. Once the lens is in place, the cartridge should be advanced into the handpiece until a click is heard to confirm that the cartridge is properly loaded into the tip of the Monarch handpiece. Holding the plunger knob, the plunger is slowly advanced forward until the threads make contact with the handpiece barrel. Once engaged, turn the knob clockwise to engage the threads. The Monarch IOL delivery system is now ready for multi-piece Acrosoft lens implantation. For implantation of the Acrosoft multi-piece lens, the surgeon should then position the nozzle of the cartridge through the incision and into the eye. Once the nozzle is positioned within the eye, the surgeon will resume advancement of the multi-piece lens through the cartridge, ensuring that the leading and trailing haptics emerge from the nozzle tip of the cartridge in the desired orientation. Appropriate placement of the PMMA haptics is an important aspect surgeons should consider with the Acrosoft multi-piece IOL. During delivery of the leading haptic, the surgeon may rotate the handpiece so that the bevel of the cartridge is facing left to ensure that the leading haptic is placed in the desired orientation into the eye. As the optic and then trailing haptic emerge from the nozzle tip of the cartridge, the surgeon may rotate the handpiece in the opposite direction so that the bevel of the cartridge is facing right to ensure that the trailing haptic is placed in the appropriate orientation. Rotating the handpiece in this manner may greatly assist surgeons in appropriate placement of the Acrosoft multi-piece IOL.